So in an upcoming video where I'm working on replacing capacitors in a motherboard, I ran into some problems where no matter how much I heated up the uh, capacitor leads, no matter how long I was on there, it just never would actually heat up enough to melt it to where I could pull out the capacitors. Eventually I kind of gave up. I was thinking maybe the capacitors were acting as a heat sink. Uh, drawing the heat away from the actual leads and so then I just tore out all the capacitors leaving the leads inside of the board and from here I would have to then desolder the leads which I was thinking maybe would be easier but it I was still running into problems and I was, wasn't able to desolder them and so eventually I figured this out if I added some solder onto the actual existing solder it would kind of combine with the old solder and it would loosen up everything and then eventually it would be loose enough even right now to where I could just pull out the leads and it made it a lot easier um, before I wasn't able to really loosen the leads at all but with this new method I kind of figured out which I'm sure there's probably some people who know what this is maybe there's a name for it but maybe it's because of adding flux that's existing in the new solder or whatever the reason it's a lot easier to take these things out now here's an example with the capacitor still in and here I'm adding solder to the leads I'm adding both of the leads and then I'm bridging them in between so I'm just adding enough solder where it bridges the two leads and then I was able to very easily pull this capacitor out where before I wasn't even able to melt this old solder at all and so this method allowed me to be able to pull it out but during this method I kind of wasn't wasn't uh, being careful enough and I, I I wore the PCB board down a little bit uh, as you can see the scratches um, those actually aren't that actually isn't metal that's actually uh, dug into the board kind of a hole into the board chipping off the board uh, so the only thing I'd say is make sure you're c careful and fragile with uh, whenever you're desoldering and uh, that's about it really uh, thank you all for watching I hope this was uh, somewhat interesting please subscribe if you like these types of videos have a great day